the carbon dioxide that is stored within trees through its natural function. That is a very big part of the climate solution for the world. Within the global context, there is a big challenge of greenhouse gases affecting the atmosphere, leading to unpredictable weather patterns, um, impacts to the ozone layer, and a host of climate-related crisis um, impacts worldwide. What Guyana's forests and forests around the world really do is to act as a source of capturing that very important greenhouse gas, which is called carbon dioxide. And it does two things. It stores it within trees. So as trees live, they do a very important function for the world. They store this carbon dioxide, which otherwise would be in the atmosphere and would further cause problems and worsen the situation. So the concept is to find a way to value something that wasn't valued before, an important asset, and that is the storage function of trees, storing carbon dioxide. So fundamentally establishing that fact requires for there to be a system of certification and for an international standard to say that, yes, you have this amount of carbon dioxide, yes, your trees have shown its potential to store this asset, and because of this, we certify that this asset is part of the global solution for climate action. So that certification process is what the Art Trees program does for Guyana. It creates a system to say, yes, you have this asset that is valued at this amount of storage capacity, and this is what you could potentially leverage at the international market in terms of value. Art stands for the architecture for Red Plus transaction. And trees is the name of the standard. It, it means the Red Plus environmental excellence standard. And in a general context, Red Plus means reducing emissions from deforestation and forest degradation. So everything we do in Guyana is tied to the United Nations agenda of having solutions be put forward for climate mitigation and adaptation. In Guyana, we've been able over the last two years to proceed with a lot of work on the phase two of the climate program. The first step saw Guyana becoming the first country in the world to become accredited for carbon credits under the Archeries program. And that was for the period 2016 to 2020. So last year, Guyana became the first country in the world to have 33.4 million credits be placed on the Art Trees Registry after close to about two years of going through all the rigors and the accreditation checks and verification that was needed to certify that these credits are real and that they have value. Since then, and shortly after the credits were issued to Guyana in November of last year, Guyana entered into its first sales contract with Hess Corporation for the purchase of 2.5 million credits every year from 2016 all the way to 2030. As part of the Low Carbon Development Strategy Framework, the fundamentals of what makes the LCDS the strategy for guiding and being the blueprint for anything development that takes place, whether at village level or national level, there is no recommended change in terms of how villages operate. Rather, what we've seen is that at the level of Amarillo villages, there is the lowest level of deforestation, almost close to zero. So what we're saying to villages is that we would like to resource you better to be able to continue to do what you've been doing 
effective and sustainable forest management practices, looking at ways to encourage and advance and resource ecotourism activities so that we empower you to be able to do exactly what you've been doing, but now with more resources. So there is really no recommendation within the LCDS that would impact on having a community have to change what it has been doing for its traditional livelihood activities, its income generating activities. The one thing that is different is that all of those projects and ideas that villages would have had banking up for many years, there is now a way to get that done.